Let the guys go. Let the guys play. <laughs> Let them play. Yeah, open the gates. <laughs> ben versus Ben. And a uh, turn one Inquisition from Ben will reveal Thoughtseize and Agent. Uh, what is that blue card there? Uh, Edge attack Yeah. So. I'll, I'll refer to these players as their last names. Cause yeah. Just a pause of silence because <laughs> I was about to say Ben is about to do something. But. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Our New York native plays an underground sea of his own. And Mr. Friedman has legit. <laughs> Tundra Go. So, mana bases, very similar. You've got a Ben versus Ben, each player with the same exact lands out until Ben just fetched up a second Tundra. We have Lingering Souls. Ugh, this two. looks really bad for Ben now. Uh, which Ben? Ben Hayes. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's it especially bad because those are Adam Staborski soldier tokens. Adam oh, Staborski no. of uh, Daily MTG, serious fun writer, and the, uh, the editor of GatheringMagic.com. There they are. Adam as a soldier. Also uh, artwork by Inkwell Looter who uh, notably did a lot of tokens for, uh, for people, including the Yo! MTG Taps Worm Coil tokens. Um, so a jit of his own. Yeah, from ben and... Uh, and a Stoneforge Mystic. And uh, passes back, Ben says, I'm gonna thought seize you and possibly take that. He was uh, with GTA. I'm pretty sure Ben's going to take the jet. Yeah, and Ben I mean, Friedman is going to take the jet. I agree. From ben Hayes. Yeah, it's hard to. I keep calling them both Ben. <laughs> I know both of them too. So yeah, I, I, know. I never it's, say their last names. Exactly. Ever, so. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I would b always be referring to both of them as Ben uh, if we were doing a match where the other player's name was not Ben. All right, so. Ben Freeman and Ben Hayes were both named after Benjamin Franklin. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, so the Thoughtseize takes the... Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. I mean, Thoughtseize still on the stack here. We've got... I mean, Hayes' hand is uh, Jace, Jite, and Lands, right? I mean, that's all I see. But is, that, is one of those Lands Academy Ruins? Is he... Yeah, there's an Academy Ruins in his deck, and I believe that's what's in his hand, so that may be what is causing uh, Friedman to really think about taking that, that GTA because Ben uh, Hayes can just get it right back. Yeah, take the Jace, okay. I, I get that logic, because there's no reason to uh, just let him get that right back. But So, uh, Friedman in with the Lingering Souls tokens. And uh, Stone Forge Mystic of his own, and he's gonna get a second GT. Maybe is he gonna a get a second? Skull. Okay, he's got a batter skull. There. Does he have two GTs? I wonder if he was gonna I think he kind only of has one. Okay. This is Hayes' deck, so Friedman only has uh, he has yeah, one main, one. but he's got one sideboard. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he had the second one. So it does look like he was thinking about it. So I assume that he did bring in the other uh, GT. But uh, he goes with Batter Skull. Interesting note for people at home: Ben Friedman has two Force of Wills in his main deck and two in his sideboard. Yeah, we talked about that too. Uh, interesting little split. Ben Hayes with two Force of Will in his main deck, also, and only one in the sideboard.
there's a little bit of discrepancy about life totals. Uh, ben didn't cast his thought seize, so that might be the confusion. They're saying, well, there's a thought seize in his graveyard. What about two life in that thought seize? But there is no two. Oh, life you mean in that Ben thought Hayes's thought seize? Yes. Yeah. Ben Hayes. Because Ben Friedman did cast his thought seize. Yes, he's cast thought seize twice. Yeah. I think it was Inquisition thought seize is actually what he did. He didn't uh, thought seize twice. Oh, you're right. He did Inquisition. It was turn one. All right, Academy Ruins, Jite War. And Jites take each other. Destroy out. each other. Yeah. There can only be one. And they clash. Yeah. It's kind of like a tug of war, and it breaks in half. And I'm like, ah, uh, neither of us have it now. It's a good thing they changed Legend Rule cards like Jit. Yeah, because that didn't, the old rule didn't make any sense. Basically, it w would have happened there is Ben Hayes would have played a, a GTA and it would have just went to the graveyard, <laughs> right? I mean, Ben Friedman yeah. would have just sat there. Like, cool, thanks for tapping two mana and discarding a card. So, uh, Dark Confidant from Friedman. And uh, Hayes thinking about it a little bit. Yeah, guess that resolve. Stoneforge Mystic untaps. Zealous persecution. And yeah, it's a good one. That works. It's not as not as big of a blowout as uh, the one we were the kind of thing we were describing before, but it's a nice little wrath. That's pretty good. Getting rid of the two lingering souls tokens. Oh and yeah, the dark confidant. Yeah, I, I didn't that's mean to really say, I just one. mean, like, when, if Ben had Lingering Souls tokens of his own, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that the I kind mean. of blowout I was talking about, where it's like, that's, that's the it completely blowout. swings it around. Yeah, like, he didn't take advantage at all of the plus one, really. Uh, I mean, I guess he could here. He could attack for two with his Stoneforge Mystic. Interesting note, uh, Ben Hayes has one Academy Ruins in his deck. Ben Friedman has one Riptide Lab. Another difference between their two decks. Riptide Lab's pretty awesome with Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. That is a uh, fun interaction to have access to. It's free spells. Yeah. Who doesn't love free spells? I'm trying to think of better things than free spells, and Not free pizza is about the only thing I can think yeah, about. Yeah, free food. <laughs> Somehow, Ben Hayes has uh, managed to stay, stay above water. Yeah, absolutely. This game looked very bad for him early on. Jason the Mind Sculptor from Hayes. And that's a good one. And Freeman's like, yeah, that not only does that resolve here, have have a dice. Have a die. We know Ben has the batter skull in hand, so or Ben Friedman has the batter skull mm -hmm. in hand, so yeah, Ben Hayes is gonna brainstorm. It's the right play yeah. here. Worst case scenario for Ben Hayes, he uh you know, it has to chump block with a stone forge to, uh, to prevent the batter the skull from killing the Jace. Yeah. Then he gets a fetch land and another brainstorm. Best case scenario, he just gets the sword supply shares on the, the batter skull and storm token. Or and something I believe like he did brainstorm into a sword supply shares. Oh, he did? I believe so. You know, didn't get a good look, but I think he did get one. So, oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Oh no, I believe that was that was actually Ben Friedman's hand. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe not though. Oh, it was Friedman's hand. Okay, Friedman's so hand. that was we saw Stone Forge Mystic. Because they're both named Ben. I know, both playing the same deck. <laughs> it is it is very uh, confusing. So, as you said, <coughs> excuse me. 
the uh, Hayes' stone fortress to chump blocks the germ so that uh, Jace will live. But Jace does take a little bit of a, uh, a beating from a stone forge mystic. I think it was time to do two counters. I think it kind of like hit him in the kneecaps. Yeah, it looks like one, but I mean, it only got hit for one, right? Am I believe I so, somehow? yeah. No, I think you're right. I think, it's, I think he's got two counters on him. Uh, Snapcaster Mage from Friedman. And, uh... Snapcaster's Thought Seize, and Penn gets to discard a Lingering Souls. Wow. Lingering Souls is so good. And now this Lingering Souls gets to protect this Jace. Yeah, two counters on Jace. Ben Hayes with just two lands in hand, but that is, <laughs> he's got a virtual five cards because he's got, well, six, I mean, because he's got three off the top <laughs> with Jace. Yeah, now, something else that's very interesting that can happen here is uh, Ben can... Uh, Which Ben? Ben Hayes can flash back <laughs> his Lingering Souls. Uh, then he's brainstorming to find another way to protect the Jace. And the next turn, he's going to have enough mana where he can upkeep, use Academy Runes, put Jit on top, and then play his land, and then Jit equip. So if he's able to use a Brace, uh, a Jace activation and a Brainstorm to find a Swords to Plowshares or uh, another copy of Lingering Souls, then he's in a massive lead in this game. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ben's still with two very powerful cards in his hand. Ben Friedman. Ben Friedman. <laughs> but one of them one of them is a Stoneforge Mystery, which is actually pretty bad here because he, he has already left. found his yeah. jit and his batter skull. So he's probably gonna hold that until he can brainstorm it away. Ben using a fetch land after his uh, chase activation. I loved when you could do that in standard. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. All right, so Ben now with a Stoneforge Mystic of his own. All right, so. Ben Hayes. Casting a brainstorm after using his Jace to brainstorm. That's a lot of brainstorming. Yeah, he's looking at a lot of cards. He's going to come up with some pretty good ideas. <laughs> I would think so after uh, that much brainstorming. And we have Inquisition. Snapcaster Mage. Ooh, he gets to take Stone a Snapcaster Mage. It's pretty good. After this, Ben is probably just going to flash back his Lingering Souls and then pass the turn. Oh, he takes the Stoneforge Mystic. Is he afraid of the second Jitte? You know, kind of... Uh... Oh, Ben does have a second Jitte post-board, so... Yeah, Freeman. Makes sense. Yeah, Ben Freeman does. All right, so flashback Lingering Souls. Or no, he just hard cast another Lingering Souls. And Ooh. he can flashback one, so... And plays a Stone Porch Mystic. Wow. I mean, Batter Skull's good and all, but uh, <laughs> have you seen Jace the Mind Sculptor? Jace the Mind Sculptor's the realest of deals. Yeah. And now Ben He's Hayes has blue a blue stuff in between his hands too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what gets better than that? So Ben Hayes now has a batter skull of his own in hand, uh, and plenty of mana to cast it. We know Ben Freeman only has Stoneforge Mystic, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Snapcaster Mage, and another card in hand. Ben Hayes has got 
I, don't, I wonder how many cards are in Hayes' hand. Seems like it should be a lot. Yeah, maybe not that many. He was down to very few cards because Ben Friedman has played a lot of discard spells. So yeah. even though Ben Hayes is you know, activating this Jason return, he still doesn't have many cards in his hand. Ben Friedman's running out of cards at a faster rate, but... All right, so we have uh, Snapcaster and Germ with Batterskull attacking Jace. Block, block. Snapcaster dies. Friedman gains four. Jace untouched. And we have a Lingering Souls flashback from Friedman. souls in his graveyard. I think a pair of them. Yeah, he's cast one and discarded one to a Thoughtseize. So. Fate sealing now. Double flashback from Ben Hayes. That's a lot of spirits. Four spirits. Now, if Ben Friedman can uh, can resolve a zealous persecution, that would be quite the uh, quite the feat. It'd be pretty good here. Now, even if he does cast zealous persecution, though, I don't know. I guess it kind of just wins. Wow, that card is so good in this mirror. For either player at this point, as well as Persecution would just be a complete and total blowout if they were to draw one. Or for Ben Hayes, if he were to draw one, or a um, Snapcaster Mage. Batter Skull. So the Germ Tokens trade, Ben Hayes up to fifth, uh, yeah, 15, Ben Friedman up to 25. Um, Spirits traded. I think there was just a lot of trading happening there. Ben Hayes left with a uh, much better board position with a Jace and two Spirits up on Ben Friedman. Uh, ben Friedman with only five lands in play. Ben Hayes with seven, so. And it was I was Jitte coming back from the yard for Ben Hayes. Ben Hayes drawing it. I think he just said go. No. Looked like a point, but it must have been something else. Yeah, okay, it didn't make any sense either. All right, so I think maybe it was a fate seal you. I think that may have been what it was. That would make sense. Jace has gone up more counters, so. Yeah. So uh, and he, I think he it was to keep it too, which is pretty, pretty brutal. Ben Friedman knows that whatever's on top of his deck is not going to help him. Now, if you're Ben Friedman here, don't you like 100% respond to the chicken encounters by uh, returning the batter skull back to your hand and then putting it back in play with Stoneforge Mystic? Looks like it. Whoa, he shortcut that pretty fast because Ben could have responded to the Batter Skull's activated ability to return it to his hand by killing the Stoneforge Mystic with the Chick Counters. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, maybe he didn't see that or maybe he just doesn't want to do it. I mean, we can't tell what the dialogue is at the table. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe Ben Friedman's yeah, like, before it, before it gets the, the JIT counters, I'm going to just do this. You yeah, know, he, he could have said that, that but the counters are just sitting on it. We, visually, the counters are there, but 
in the game. Maybe they, Ben was responding to it. Uh, Friedman was responding to it. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I can't see Ben Friedman's face, but his body language that we can see looks pretty much like he's facing down a uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor and a Jite on a Spirit. <laughs> and uh, engineered explosives. Let's add uh, a little bit of insult to injury here. I don't know how many counters are on that, but maybe zero? Did he... or one? What, what did he... did he only tapped one land for that, or was that one for something else? Yeah, it was, a, it was that was a zero mana uh, engineered explosives to kill the germ. Yeah, get rid of your spirit too. <laughs> Dark Relative confidant. Party. And uh, we have a fetch land from Ben Hayes. Meanwhile, Jason the Mind Sculptor has, I believe, eight counters on him. You know, uh, double check. Kind of unreal the amount of stuff that Jace has done this game. It's drawn Ben like four extra cards while providing him card manipulation. Yeah. It's prevented Ben Friedman from drawing what he wants to draw on specific turns. And right now it's it might just kill. Yeah, the seven counters on. Uh, I saw uh, eight. It's got to be nine, right? There's I mean I'm ten now. It was eight. Yeah. It had to have been eight because there were six and then two. Yeah. Now there's six and four. Numbers. Yeah. Hasn't taken Here we any go. Ten. <laughs> ten. One more a plus, and then and then, uh, can go then minus. Ben needs a stifle. You saw that in the GP, right? The uh, Tom Martell, Jace, mind sculpt, uh, uh, ultimate ability activated and gets stifled. That was uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty rough. brutal. But I think he he resolved another Jace and then. Ultimated that one. <laughs> so seems pretty standard. That's how yeah. legacy games always go. You just cast the Jace and then you just start taking it up and then your phone dies. Yeah. Ben Friedman scoops to Ben Hayes here uh, at the StarCityGames.com Invitational in Baltimore. Ben Hayes had quite an advantage that game. I mean, yeah, he had a very nice comeback there. Yeah. Uh, Jace was really everything I think 